If I look like a horror show, it's because last night, last night was rough. The fire alarm starts going off in the middle of the night. Mind you, most people would think, oh my gosh, fire alarm, fire, right? Like, let's get up, let's get out. Not in this apartment complex, folks, because the fire alarm randomly goes off all of the time. Like, so much so that if there is legitimately a fire, I'm gonna fry because I am just like, I just know at this point, there's some kind of mechanism that it's really sensitive and it goes off. But, but the fire alarm is not just like a loud alarm. It is deafening. Thank God for noise canceling headphones because otherwise it would destroy my hearing. I'm not being melodramatic either. It is like, you can feel it down. You can feel the little tiny bones in your ears like Oh my gosh, it's horrible. And people who have pets, I feel for them. But here's the thing, when this happens, it goes for a long, long stretch of time until, I don't know, I guess the fire department has to come out and like actively turn it off. But whenever it happens, you think to yourself, ah, oh, it's finally off. But that's a mistake. Don't make that mistake because as soon as they turn it off, I don't know what happens if they have to like expel some evil demon from it because roughly 20 minutes, usually 15 to 20 minutes after it's gone off, it'll bang again for like a, a much shorter stretch. And so you'll, it'll always be like you're just dozing off and then it recurs, so that happened. Well, it happened again and again. I mean, my adrenal gland is like, um, I need a timeout because <laughs> yeah, all night long I was uh, up and down and up and down and up and down. So if I look like a train wreck, it's because last night was a doozy. I bought these brightening eye masks from Dermatology. Have you guys tried these? I love to do caffeine hydrogel eye masks to depuff. And as far as I'm concerned, this is the best time to try these bad boys out. These have caffeine, which can temporarily depuff the under eye area. And they also have niacinamide, which is anti-inflammatory, good for redness and dark spots. Now to get maximum bang for your buck out of these. I do suggest storing them in the refrigerator and applying them chilled. All right, they kind of look like pastrami, but I ain't mad at you. They do feel nice. No fragrance. Yeah, Dermatology, D-R-M-T-L-G-Y, is a brand that I have been using for years and they really, really do a good job um, creating dupes, if you will, of popular expensive skincare. Um, like their universal tint sunscreen is so good. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll put that on after this. These also deliver peptides, which are also hydrating, may have an anti-inflammatory effect. And they have uh, seaweed extract, which is super hydrating. And, and they have a licorice root, which calms down redness and is good for hyperpigmentation. They feel really good. I'm not getting any burning or stinging. Today, we are having horrible weather. So I don't know what I'm gonna do today, if I'm gonna do anything. I have a lot of work to catch up on today, but I'm just gonna hang out with you guys, chill vlog, not gonna have a whole lot going on. I'll share with you guys whatever skincare I end up doing today, but I'm not gonna go out today because the weather is bad. All right, so I've had them on there for about 10, 12 minutes, we'll say, give or take. I'm gonna take them off now, see if I look any more awake. Not that the coffee I've been sipping on had any impact on that. Wow, they do really look nice and smooth and hydrated, huh? Like. Is it just me? I really see a brightened effect. So I'm gonna come on over with the Universal Tinted Moisturizer. It does have niacinamide in it, which is good for redness and dark spots. It's a hybrid sunscreen. All right, I'm moisturized, I'm feeling better. 
coffee and a little AM skincare, I'm like a new woman. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my laundry. I know, scintillating, but hey, it's the weekend. Things like this have to get done. They don't just do themselves. This is the laundry detergent I use from Nelly's. A lot of people, their skin is sensitive to strong fragrances as well as the dyes in many uh, laundry detergents. But the other thing that can mess you up as far as your skin and cause irritation is not so much the detergent per se, but using too much and it not getting adequately rinsed out of the laundry. So I always use the recommended amount. And make sure you don't try and overfill your washing machine. That's another big tip too, to make sure that you get a good rinse out of the detergent. All right, I'm gonna get some work done on the computer, but I'm gonna pull out my little walking pad. I showed this in a vlog a few weeks ago. I love this thing, just for getting in my steps on days like today where I'm mostly inside and I'm not really going anywhere. Yeah, it's a great way to get your steps in, but it's super easy to get it up out of the way. Like I just have it propped up here and then when I wanna use it, I just, Pull it over here. Oops, <laughs> trying to cut this corner and carry the camera. But it's got wheels. I mean, it's like really lightweight. Yeah, it fits perfectly under the desk. And then I have the cord here to plug it in. Turn it on. And it'll keep track, I don't know if you can see, It'll keep track of the time, give you a distance and a rough estimate of calories if you're interested in that. Um, there are like three different levels you can do, set, you know, preset settings. There's a remote control. So just hit start. It does a countdown. And then I wanna say it goes up to like four and a half walking speed but you know, you can just put it in kind of a low step count and get work done on the computer and get steps in. So I love it. I've had it for many months now. I use it pretty much daily just to get in some extra steps. Tonight I am definitely gonna do my L'Oreal Ever Pure Elastic Fiber Hair Mask. Still loving this. It's really great actually if you have been using the pool a lot and want like a deep conditioning hair mask, but it's not technically free of fragrance. It has like rosemary oil in it. It kind of has a light aroma, but it's not strong. It doesn't have a heavy scent, but the consistency, let me show you. It's so thick. It has almost, you see how it's like literally elastic it's almost like almost like melted plastic well it really envelops each hair strand to nicely neutralize that charge and help smooth out the hair improve manageability but it doesn't weigh down the strands i have been so impressed with this i don't end up using very much of it i only do it a couple of nights a week but it's really great if you have color treated hair i would imagine this would be a great option as well um, as a side note during the summer months your hair strands can experience a lot of weathering because uv rays damage the proteins in the hair it leaves them brittle and prone to trichorexis nodosa those little nodes that lead to hair breakage so a deep conditioning mask can really be beneficial this time of year in particular, plus with the chlorine uh, from pool water. If you've been to the beach, this is a great option. Speaking of UV damaging the strands though, another sort of spray leave-in conditioning type treatment that I like to use this time of year is this Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Heat UV Protective Primer. This is like an all-in-one type product. It's very lightweight though, it's, so it doesn't weigh down your strands at all. So you can use it from root to tip and it doesn't like make your hair greasy. But the UV um, protective aspect, of course your hair strands don't get skin cancer and this isn't gonna be intended for UV protection of the scalp. But it does help offset the weathering from UV rays to the strands, especially if you have blonde hair, a lot more vulnerable to uh, sun damage. It can even turn your hair yellow, so this can help. But if you get your hair color treated, a UV um, protectant like this can help 
allow for the color treatment to last a bit longer. Not to mention the heat protectant aspect of this is really nice because it helps just kind of slow down the transfer of heat to the hair strands, cutting down on damage. I don't end up using too much of it. So this bottle has lasted me a really long time. All right, literally just hopped out of the shower. My skin is still damp. I'm gonna come in with the six peptide booster serum I reviewed for you guys. I do the paint it on technique. And then over that, I'm gonna come on with the Snail Mucin Essence. Then I'm gonna moisturize the rest of my body. I've got the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Rescue Relief moisturizer here. This you could use as a facial moisturizer, but it's a nice light hydrating gel cream, perfect for summer, free of fragrance, get on my neck, my arms. Then to my feet and my lower legs, my ankle area, Cetaphil Healing Ointment. Always come in to my feet with some sort of ointment. Petroleum Jelly, Aquaphor, CeraVe Healing Ointment, a store version of any of those. And I'm generous, like I'm, I'm really generous with the glob. I hate it when a hair decides to appear out of nowhere and stick to your patrolling. It's like, I'm standing on one foot. One foot is greased and I'm standing on the other. To the greased foot, I'm coming on over with my sock. I'm not about the shin high socks. Those socks will aggravate the daylights out of my atopic dermatitis. I've been off trend since I came out of the womb, so I, I ain't mad at it, but just so you know, I'm aware that ankle socks are out with the old, but I'm still rocking them because I'm not trying to be itching all night, scratching, itching and scratching, picking in and grinning. I've got my socks on over greased feet, and this is a game changer for dry cracked heels. This and, I mean, any petroleum jelly ointment combined with a couple of nights a week, I do my carousel foot ointment to get ahead of the callus. I've kind of been slacking on that, unfortunately. So, but honestly, my feet look pretty good, if I do say so myself. So anyways, hold on. All right, Tretinoin is on. Now, cleanser update for me. I finished up the prequel Glenser, G-L-E-A-N-S-E-R. Really enjoyed that. Not only is it a great facial cleanser, but it's also a really good body wash. Uh, and it's a pretty good value too. Like I honestly have to give props to everything I've tried from prequel. While some of the things for me are not necessarily like something I'd go back to, a lot of the products I have really enjoyed using. Like they've been really good. Um, but I, all that said, I finished that and I'm back on the Vanny Cream facial cleanser. I rotate out different cleansers, you know, I finish one, use another one. I'm not necessarily loyal, but I have my favorites and then of course I'm always trying out new ones. But this, this right here is excellent for pretty much any skin type. However, I tried out recently, they came out with a new baby foam wash, horrible. And my gosh, it's, it's, it's an optical illusion is what it is. Cause there's, there's literally no cleansing action there. You're better off just taking a feather duster to your baby than using that. I mean, it is not, it is, it's, it's too gentle for its own good. Um, but this I love as a facial cleanser. It's really, it's really effective. They also make a body wash. That's pretty good too. Um, and honestly I've used the body wash on my face and I really don't see much of a difference. Kind of the color and the texture is a little bit different. This comes out sort of opaque a bit, but it generates a really nice lather. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys because I often get questions from people who are new here, like, oh my gosh, like what's a good skincare routine for my husband? He does no skincare um, and I want to get him on something. Honestly, like for most people, if they're not really having any skin issues, I just suggest a basic cleanser and a basic moisturizer. And this pairing right here, I think meets the needs of a wide variety of people. It's the gentle cleanser from Vanny Cream and the moisturizing lotion. Like this pairing right here, men, women, children, I do think 
this is this is these are the basics that and of course a sunscreen now that being said some people and the majority of them seem to be men I've never met a woman like this um, not to say they don't exist but some people are just perfectly existing in life never using moisturizer um, and they get along just fine so like a moisturizer is really really beneficial it can it can really just rejuvenate the appearance of your skin quite a bit and it can improve barrier turnover I mean it can have a lot of benefits but if you are not having any issues not using a moisturizer and you're fine with your skin the way it is you don't have any irritation sensitivity you don't even necessarily need to use a moisturizer you need to use a sunscreen however coming in with the hyaluronic acid serum to my lips I also like to use this on my face too. Over that, I'm going to do the lip sleep mask. I've really been enjoying this pairing. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and that you're having a fantastic evening or day. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.